Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will have an adventurous video because I'm pretty sure a lot of you are pretty bored of me always sitting in the spot, even though this is my favorite spot in the whole world. <laughs> but today we'll have something a little bit different because I'll go ahead and drive to one of the shopping malls in our area because I need to look for some stuff. Probably the most fun part that this shopping mall has a pretty special houseplant store that actually often has pretty uncommon and rare plants and not you know those foliage plants but most of these plants are you know rare cacti rare succulents hoyas and stuff like that so i think this will be something a little bit out of ordinary and i really hope it will be open because last time i went there it was closed but it was a month ago and this store is actually uploading pictures into their instagram account so i have big hopes that this time it will be open and i'll go ahead and ask to film there because last time i was there we had a good time we chatted a lot a lot with the staff members so this time hopefully will be even better because why the heck not let's just believe in it let's hang out let's drive away and just see how things will go because most of the time videos like that end up really differently because i love to do spontaneous trips like that so come and join me and let's just have some fun shall we Flipping close, man. Again. Okay. So it was a fail, guys. Well, not kind of. First off, we found the dress of my dreams. I'm so excited about it. I showed you the swoosh of it. Beautiful brown dress and feels like coffee. <laughs> but anyway, I was so, so actually disappointed because the store that I was talking with you about, house plants, was closed again. Again, after one month, it is still closed and I'm pretty sure they most likely relocated. I've never seen this kind of info, so I probably need to contact them and ask like, what the heck is going on? I'm disappointed. <laughs> but right now we have a plan B. We came to another store that has a department of big box store filled with house plants. So fingers crossed something beautiful will be there. I still have hope. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Plan B, here we come. <laughs> Guys, look at the size of this beautiful Echeveria for 6 euros. Oh my lord, look at them. What a color, oh my gosh. And all of this huge, huge, huge dudes for 7 euros. Oh guys, my fingers are breaking, they're so heavy. Look at that. Wow. Holy nuts. Wow. Wow. Wow, look at those blooms, looking cool, right? Oh my gosh, my f oh my lord, look at those monsteros. Holy nuts! Okay, baby. Look at the size, oh my gosh. Baby, stop! Look at those pots. I don't see the price. Probably it's from the other side, but oh my gosh, we'll get back to this. Here's a comparison for the size, and it's 100 euros. It's 90, sorry, 90 euros. Amazing deal, isn't it? What? What the heck? 58 euros, variegated. Wow, it's cool. Yes, it looks like it. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> look at those euphorbias for 14 euros. What the heck? It looks like a ding dong. Just look. <laughs> ding dong, definitely. It's only 14 euros. Look at all of those. Oh my gosh, I think I'm in love. 
What? Okay, I think that was, this was a destiny because I was not planning to come into the store. Just look at it, it's so cute, it's so cool. Looks like a monster. You won't buy it. 14 euros, we gotta buy it. <laughs> look at those blooms. Wow, this one is more pink. Holy nuts, 15 euros. Love the choice of all those beautiful succulents. I'm actually planning to pot a fairy garden soon, so let's see what we can. F oh my gosh, this one is so cute! For four euros? Oh my gosh, this one is really adorable, right? More huge monsters! Oh my lord, it's crazy! Wow. Actually, music playing in the background, so I'm not sure if I will be able to show this footage. Dang it. back home <laughs> okay so everything actually did not went by the plan but that's okay that's how life is built right and at the very end I came back home with so many beautiful new plants and a beautiful project in my mind and I'm really excited to share it with you but before that I just want to give a huge thank you to Morgan for tipping me via PayPal it was once again really unexpected and so cute what a beautiful message with belated Merry Christmas wishes even though fun fact my Christmas was on this Friday so it wasn't that belated to be honest it was on perfect timing so thank you Morgan but right now let's jump into plant haul and all of the plants I have for this video so since I was in this big box store I noticed that they had a lot like a lot of new cacti and succulents and I've been planning to make a fairy garden for a while so I thought this is just the sign from the heavens to do it to do it today and we're doing this so i got i bought this beautiful pot and saucer right saucer so this will work perfectly for a desert inspired fairy garden i am really excited i cannot wait to share with you what fully will go inside into this it's not very small so it's gonna be so much fun to play around also i bought this cute aenium I actually was planning to order one online because when they are sun stressed actually they have beautiful pinkish tips and white variegation which is so beautiful I'm not sure if you should call it variegation but this is a beautiful plant especially when the stem is hardened up and it almost looks like a tree so this in this uh, whole fair garden I think will look beautiful and fabulous also i got this cute echeveria not sure of the name and it will look so beautiful in the fairy garden also i bought this cute white cactus it looks like a mammalier to me i'm not sure but very beautiful very fluffy looks like for example cotton candy for me i don't know why so these are the plants that i bought but i also have a bunch of plants prepared from home that will go into this arrangement because let's fill this baby up right so i also have this cute havoitia that actually one of you sent to me so 
beautiful 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 right will work perfectly with this project in my opinion also ha have this teeny tiny old man cactus just in case if you will need more color pop you know of white also have this cute ghost euphorbia i am not sure if this is a ghost but cute i have little tiny arms we also have this color oh my gosh i am in love with this color and since we have that color i thought i had actually an old succulent that i beheaded and i will use a teeny tiny head of it for you know complementing the colors for each other let's put it that way right i also have this gymnocalysium i think it's called it actually bloomed for me last summer so really happy to own it it looks like a little zebra beautiful plant i also have this haworfia slash aloe not sure what what it is but i think it will look like a teeny tiny bush and it will look fabulous and also this teeny tiny cactus and this teeny tiny cactus cute right so many options to work with and all of them will work perfectly together in my mind also have this cute branch that i had in my balcony so i think this will work perfectly for this desert inspired garden also have some white pebbles some random pebbles from the outside that i collected over the, over the time we have some sand from the beach i think it's enough mumbling this is where i will stop talking and just will start creating something special so let me put you a little bit lower so you won't see my face but you will see the beautiful process of a little tiny world coming to life shall we let's do this i'm talking nonsense let's just do this
Alright guys, I am all done and I am so proud how everything turned out. Isn't that one of the most beautiful pieces I've ever created? It looks like a beautiful, beautiful pot filled with a little piece of desert. I love how many different plants fit in here and every single one of them have different color, different shape, different texture even. Oh my gosh, some fluffs, some spikes, some gentle pink colors. Isn't that beautiful? I'm so so happy for it. I will stare at it all day long, hands down. At the very end I added some beach sand so we know it's just a beautiful finishing touch and I think this beautiful tiny teeny tiny brand just looks awesome in here, right? So the best thing is that even though they look so cramped in here and like they don't have enough space for growing guys i filled this whole pot with a lot of soil so all of them can easily grow roots downwards and just have as much space as they need and obviously this whole arrangement won't last forever but i think for at least a year we should be fine and oh my gosh i love it this one actually really reminds me of fairy this is snoot. Do you see the snoot? Goodies, baby. This one actually really reminds me of Garden Answer Fairy Gardens, isn't it? Oh my gosh, it's so crammed together, but also all of these plants really work together. Oh, oh, oh. I am really happy. I am really proud of this project. So let me know in the comments what I think about it. Would you like something like this in your home, maybe on your office desk? or maybe on your dining table because I think this is so beautiful and these kind of plants always works the best for me in terracotta pots because terracotta itself looks like something out of desert in my opinion so wow I really love how it all turned out let me know how many points out of 10 would you give for this favorite garden because I think it's so good I am so happy about it but anyway this will be it for today's video I actually did not use all of the plants only two are left this adenium because it just did not fit in there and this beautiful gymnocalysium but that's okay they will always grow separately and wait for the moment in you know future fairy gardens so I added a couple pebbles just for little dink I don't know <laughs> nothing too fancy nothing too crazy oh my gosh just look at it this looks fabulous i am in flipping love right so beautiful i hope i inspired you to play around with your plants and also create something like that because it's just like a meditation and the best relaxation possible even though some of them have spikes you know but it felt so good just to play around and create a little tiny world of my own and oh my i wish i could be a fairy and fly around in here because it's beautiful <laughs> okay guys but i won't keep you any longer before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson and since we had a dress search in the very beginning of this video let me teach you how to say dress in russian and in lithuanian so if you want to say dress in Lithuanian, you need to say suknale. Once again, suknale. And if you want to say dress in Russian, you need to say platya. Once again, platya. And this is it. Oh, I feel so happy. I feel so relaxed right now. I could ruin the world. Run the world, not ruin the world. Anyway, 
I need some food because it's already maybe 3 p.m. and I'm hungry. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how do you feel about it in the comments. Please subscribe if you enjoy plenty content. Until the next time.